Welcome, welcome to Design Your Day. I'm so glad you're here for this conversation. I'd like to introduce you today to a kind-hearted and talented creative. He's an Austin-based wedding and elopement photographer who's a narrative-driven filmmaker. He's Juan Jose of Juan Jose Photo. Hey, Juan. Hey, Carrie. Of course you're here. I need to let you know that um, that Design Your Day would not be possible without Juan. He is the visual behind this whole program. So, of course, you're here. Thanks for being here. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and I have to say that you steer this boat all like so well, you know, just being an interviewer and stuff. So, I mean, I do like a little bit of this. So you're doing <laughs> such a great job. Thanks. Thanks. Well, I'm so glad to have this conversation with you. Um, really, this was this was a brainchild that that we created, and and it's come together. And so, I know that you started off with photography, and then somewhere along the line, you transitioned and included videography. So, can you tell me how that happened? Yeah. Um, so, I've always loved photography, and I think I've always loved filmmaking. Um, like going back as far back as I can, I, I can remember, I would uh, love to go to the movies and watch uh, films, you know, as a family with my, uh, my mom and dad and my little brother. And I just love that experience of watching and being immersed in a film, in a, in a movie. And so, you know, when I first got into photography, uh, I dabbled a little bit with video, but I never really started to... I never really, you know, invested into learning how to shoot video and how to tell stories and how to, um, you know, immerse uh, someone, an audience into a film uh, just because, you know, I was getting the hang of photography and uh, as I got the hang of photography, I started to focus on wedding photography and that just kind of became its own thing. And so for many years, I just focused on that because I wanted to get really good at that. I wanted to make sure that I was serving my clients well in that area. Uh, until one year, you know, I was playing around with YouTube and stuff. I told myself, what if I started to introduce this to my wedding clients, you know, uh, uh, films, uh, short videos. And uh, I did, you know, my first one a few years ago. And, you know, it's just kind of a, like a snowball. I just uh, got more inquiries, started shooting more videos. And um, now I would say that I'm more... Uh, asked to shoot videos than I am for, for photos, for wedding photos. So um, it's just a fun way of uh, me getting to do something that I love, you know, which is movies and films. Like I, it, like in, my, in my dream home, I would love to have a theater room where I can just watch movies, watch films, watch YouTube, and you know, these cool film, filmmakers doing their thing. And um, because I enjoy that, I want to give that experience to my couples whenever they're watching their films. Mm -hmm. I, want them, I want them to be immersed and I want them to um, uh, maybe not notice right away, but experience the little details that I will, will include in the, um, in the, not just the visual aspect of their wedding film, but the audio aspect of it. Mm. Um, things that they may not think about that I, I would like to just be a little more detail orientated about orientated about that uh, may just add to that experience and that's what I want for them you know I was binging on your um, YouTube and maybe that's one of the reasons why I was binging on your YouTube is because um, you do pay so much attention to detail and I was really really struck by your sincerity and your transparency in your videos too it's like the full package it comes together so amazing. Um, so tell me about um, a little bit about your client journey. So like when you meet them, what happens? Are there any hitches along the way? What sort of happens in that process? Yeah. So when it comes to my client journey, um, of course, it comes with, you know, the first inquiry. And um, what I like to do is just as soon as I can, I like to jump on a Zoom call with them or maybe even possibly meet in person. Because for me, it's important to get to know the person. Um, to know the couple. Um, I really do believe that a wedding film is a reflection of not just the couple, but also the couple's families and the two, the two family cultures coming together. And the only way that I can really truly represent that in their video is if I get to know their family culture, if I, if I get to know them as a couple and how they are, um, how they treat each other, how they love each other. Um, what sort of insiders do they have that maybe I can just be a little, more, little bit more mindful of 
when it comes to the wedding day. So as you're working with your couples, you know, you talked about the, the initial inquiry and, and the details along the way, getting to know them as a person. Um, is there anything that you find in that journey that you feel really connects you? Like one thing where you're both like on track and they, they let go and let you be your creative talent itself? Yeah, um, I, I would have to say that, you know, going back to the thing of like getting to know them, I think for me it's very important that I get to encompass, you know, not just the wedding day itself, but also just, you know, their love story. And so um, I really love whenever a client comes to me and they say, Juan, just, you know, just do your thing. Like do what you want. You have total, total freedom to do what you want. Um, and I think a lot of that comes with uh, – as they trust me, they um, allow me to make suggestions, even in the timeline and stuff, that will make things uh, easier, not just for me to film, but just for moments to happen naturally. So Juan, you've had a really busy year. I know you've just been like yes. so many, I'm, I'm amazed at how many weddings he's filming a, a week. And so tell me, like, what do you see up and coming trends? What can our, what can our couples look forward to is, in terms of videography? Yeah, you know, having shot so many weddings and, um, and you know, it's like I've, this past week I've shot, I think it was five weddings. And <laughs> so the, I got to see, I get to see a variety of different things, yeah. uh, you know, and as far as like trends that are up and coming in the, you know, the video world, uh, there are a few that I really, really like. One of them is, uh, is an eight film, eight millimeter film. Um, this is like literally like back in the day whenever, you know, families had a small eight millimeter film camera where you would literally put the film canister in and have it roll and it only holds like three minutes or so. Um, you know, I know photographers, uh, it's very, very trendy now to shoot an actual film and it's making a comeback. I'm sorry, are you talking yeah. about like a Super 8? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. A Super wow. 8 millimeter okay. camera. All right. Uh, so that's an up-and-coming up and trend, you know, that um, some filmmakers are, are introducing, you know, in their services. Some photographers also like to do it just because it's very simple. You know, uh, I think you only have three minutes to record on, you know, on the actual film itself. And so uh, it's very candid, you know, it's very imperfect, uh, beautifully imperfect, I think is, mm. you know, um, how I think my wife likes to describe it and stuff. So that's definitely one thing that I see a lot that, you know, I think is very trendy. I, I personally think it's really cool mm -hmm. that, you know, people are doing. Another thing that I see is, um, of course, you know, with social media being such a big thing and now with like TikTok, you know, Snapchat, Instagram stories and stuff is um, some people like to do, some filmmakers like to, to give their couples what's, you know, an edit that's made specifically for those platforms. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, for example, on Instagram, you know, you can only have one minute worth of video on your post. And so uh, some filmmakers, and I'd like to do this myself, I'll condense basically, you know, the wedding film into one minute. Really just putting like the very most important highlight parts that are like the, the, the show stoppers, the like, you know, the scroll stoppers, as I like to call them, um, parts of the day. Um, and even delivered those clips in long format. So like if you're holding a phone kind of like long ways, sure. you know, so that way you can put it on an Instagram story. That way you can put it on TikTok, just because I know TikTok is becoming very popular now. Um, or on Snapchat, that way you can, you know, save it on there too and stuff. So that's kind of like a, a new trend that um, not a lot of people are doing. And I personally think, and this is coming from someone who likes to put, I don't necessarily like attention, but I like to put things out in the world that I'm doing. Um, and for the, for the person that uh, thinks the same way, that those are just really cool edits that you can put out. Uh, because nowadays, you know, whether you're a photographer or, or a filmmaker, or if you're just a regular person, your social media, like, it's, it's your, like, I guess your social portfolio in a way, that's, that tells people, this is who I am, this is what I do, this is where I've been, you know? And for me, I get the privilege of being able to de deliver uh, edits, you know, um, that can live on those social portfolios for people. Uh, I want people to feel, um, I mean, in a very, very primitive way, the easiest word that I can come, of, come out with is, I want them to feel cool. 
you know i want them to feel like hey look at me i'm like i'm, I'm hot you know what i mean <laughs> um and so i, I want to give people that confidence and i think a lot of it stems from like i mean we we all went to middle school like <laughs> you know like we know we know how how important it is to like you know be perceived a certain way and stuff and you know now that we're adults um you know of course there are definitely a lot of other stuff that matters like you know your relationships your health you know but i think it's also very important to have the confidence about you to 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 put up this work you know what i mean like these videos these photos on these social media platforms that that just make you feel good about yourself i don't think there's anything wrong with that i think i think more people need that you know nowadays just to feel good about themselves and i had the privilege of being able to provide that for my clients it's, and i love it it's a lot of fun for me so I'm going to put you on the spot here. You, sure. you mentioned um, um, Instagram stories, like l one l little one minute clips. Yeah. I'm th what about Instagram TV? Could you do like yeah. a 10 minute? Yeah, for sure. That's definitely that's definitely an option. I So when I deliver my, my videos, they're usually anywhere between like three to seven minutes. I've delivered some that have been shorter, some that have been longer, really depending on, you know, the client, the wedding itself um, and how many how much footage I was able to get throughout the day. And so uh, when I deliver that video, that client has the ability to post it as an IGTV you know, post. That way, if they did want that longer version, uh, they can put it on there for sure. Uh, and of course, you know, those little Instagram edits are just kind of like little things that they can put up. I don't know, maybe on an anniversary. Oh, look, it's our anniversary. And this is a, a short little 15 second clip of us you know, enjoying our wedding. That's so sweet. And I'm thinking about like how really how much of a treasure that would be for the family and friends who maybe weren't invited to the wedding or couldn't make it to the wedding. Like they really get to see, get in depth, get in there. Yeah. For, yeah. Yeah. And I think that's the definite um, positive or a plus to films, you know, and I shoot photos too. And I think photos are are priceless you know but i think the difference with a film is that you're much more immersed into somebody's story somebody's day um you can hear you know you can hear the rain if it's raining you know you can hear the uh the wind going through the trees when you're outside and all that stuff and i think as a filmmaker it's my job to invite people into that experience who weren't able to make it or really invite you into that experience even if it's just as a memory so um that's that i love it like i can go on and on about that stuff but yeah i just love that approach to filmmaking so sweet so do you have another one for us yes and i'm glad you asked so i so i like to you know kind of going on that note of like i like to have people feel i like to give them that confidence and give them that give them that experience of like being cool um, one thing that I uh, like to do is uh, a lot of people like to have engagement photos and it's a great opportunity to meet your photographer and get to know them. Um, but I like to do what's called uh, a, the save the date video or it's basically an engagement video. Um, this is a video where I come along. It can be either at the engagement session and we have a shared experience with the photographer or it can be its own individual session where we'll go out, we'll do something fun together. You know, I'll basically, I'm basically, I'm basically going to be the third wheel on a very fun date, mm -hmm. you know. And so this video can live on, you know, um, Instagram, can live on Facebook, YouTube. But a lot of people like to use this video on their their wedding website you know wedding oh, websites are a big thing lovely. now and so just to kind of introduce people set the tone i think for like you know a wedding they people like to put this video on their websites because you know i think those websites are definitely a way to set the tone for like hey this is the kind of experience you're gonna have at the wedding mm -hmm. you know let's make it a fun one you know let's yeah. make it something that's immersive and you know uh, I, I i tell people all the time I can be as extra as you want me to be. And that's definitely an area where we can be extra with an oh, engagement right. video, say the day video. I, I was just imagining like popping up on somebody's website and like, here's the first thing you see is their, yeah. their engagement video. Right. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah, I know that. And I'm like, I want people to experience that. I want yeah. people to have that. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So what, what kind of couples love working with you? Yeah, I, I would say the, the couples that love working with me are, the couple that want they have a they have a story to tell and they want their story to be told in a way that is immersive 
and that is emotional, sentimental. Um, and at the same time, you know, I think my ideal client, the, my ideal couple, they uh, have invested a lot of time, effort, and money into their day, and they want it to be perceived in a good light. And I think at the end of the day, at the heart of my business, at the heart of who I, who I am, and what the service that I want to give people is, you know, my ideal client, they just want to look cool. And, you know, and if that is, if that's you out there, you know, like we're going to, we're going to hit it off because cool is, of course, is very subjective, you know, like, you know, so many people think that, you know, brands are cool, um, experiences are cool, whether, you know, so if you want to like wear, you know, Louis Vuitton shoes, or if you want to go out into the wilderness and, you know, hike on a mountain and you think that's cool, I think that's cool. Let's make it happen. You know what I mean? So I think for me, that would be my ideal client. The person who hasn't, um, something that they are really passionate about and want to be, or, or want to be perceived a certain way. Mm -hmm. Um, those are the people who I, I think I click with the most when it comes to my clients. Um, because we have the same goal. They want to look cool and I want to make them look cool. And he knows how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tell me what are the, the packages that you offer? Yeah. So I have a couple of different services. You know, people want different uh, types of videos. Uh, most people like what I call the highlight reel. And that, that's the first uh, half of the different packages that I offer. Um, the highlight reel just being a short, you know, three to seven minute video really encompassing the whole day. Um, it's not always chronological, but some, most times it is. And it really just tells the story of the day in a short, condensed um, experience, uh, put to beautiful music, and of course, you know, capturing all of the, uh, the highlights, all of the important moments, or all the moments that I feel really spoke to the um, to the the feelings of the day, you know, if there were, if there was a certain part of the vows or the speeches, you know, the toasts that I feel very well represent the couple and their families, I would include those. And so those are just the highlights that I would include in that video, and that's the highlight reel uh, packages. I do offer a documentary package, and that is, uh, you know, from start to finish. Um, chronological version of the wedding day with full ceremony, full toast. If you have a first look, we'll get uh, I'll get the entire first look, um, you know, and little moments in between. So that way, it's just for someone who wasn't able to make the wedding day, they could sit down and experience all of those all of those moments throughout the day, very much as like someone who actually went there would experience them. Um, so those are the two different packages, and that package comes with the highlight reel because I have all that footage to work with anyway, I like to include it. Um, so there's a documentary package and then the highlight reel package. And those are the different ones that I offer. So awesome, well, thanks for be being here. I know that I learned a lot. I hope you all learned a lot. So be sure to check out more of Juan's work in the links below. We always wanna hear your comments and your questions about designing and planning your wedding day. Let us know in the comments below and remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.